bulk boom control. The bulk boom will come with a secondary receiver and remote. This will give you the ability to turn your fans off and put it into a fill cal fill mode, which you'll need to do to run the hydraulics for the bulk boom. Looking at our main valve block, the pressure we are using for the bulk boom is coming off of fan number two, going out on P3 and then returning back to the main valve block on T3. Following the hydraulics off the main valve block, they'll flip over to the left hand side of the cart. Your pressure and return, also you'll notice that your case drain tees off and follows them over to that valve block for the bulk boom. Over at your bulk boom valve, you'll notice you'll have a pressure gauge. That pressure gauge is showing you your relief pressure. And that relief pressure is set to 2700 PSI, so we never exceed that. If it does exceed that pressure, it's going to dump your excess pressure down that case drain line. And then from there, you have your pressure coming into your bulk boom valve, going through your relief and the gauge, and then just going to your three DO3 solenoids that will activate when you use your remote to raise or lower your arm. Once solenoid on the bulk boom valve block is activated, going out to the cylinders, you'll notice that we have a double counterbalance valve that is mounted on the base end of the cylinder this is done as a protective measure in event of a hydraulic line rupture in the system. They will lock the hydraulic cylinders to prevent sudden drop and cannot be moved until system is repaired.